Hello, I welcome you all. The problem is coming from the Engineering Mechanics and Dynamics of 14th edition by RC Hibela. So the problem uh, reads, uh, the pilot of an airplane executes a vertical loop, which is in part follows the path of the four lift rows and is defined by the function R. Okay. If his speed is a uh, constant and it is 80 feet per second, determine the vertical reaction the seat of the plane exerts on the pilot when the plane is at A. The pilot weighs 130 pounds. Right. They've given us a hint there which you can read. So, things to take note of. Uh, this is in a vertical loop all right so this is in a vertical loop so this is the vertical plane okay all right um so let's draw the free body diagram so we are going to be using the polar coordinates so we have the radio coordinate like so and then we do have do have uh, the theta coordinate like so okay great so this one is um ara this is theta then uh, we have so let me draw what is happening so this is the seat and then we have the pilot okay so we are going to have the weight of the pilot and then we we'll have the person exerting the force on the chair and the chair exerting the force on the um, pilot so if we are to redraw the person once more again so it means we we'll have the weight and we we'll have uh, n from the seat so this is basically what will happen right okay is that fine great so we have the weight and then we have uh, the normal force from the seat Okay, so let's call this as N and we call this W. Mm -hmm. And then let's write down R uh, so that we find the components that we are going to use for the acceleration along the R and uh, theta direction so R is minus 600 um, minus 600 and at this point the normal force is just directly along the radio axis okay so cos 2 theta then now R dot which is the derivative of R with respect to time, this just becomes minus 600. Then we have um, a 2 theta dot, okay, and then sine minus, minus sine 2 theta, therefore, our other dot is just going to be equal to 1200 theta dot sine 2 theta. 
then theta double dot we are using the product rule uh, derivative of one while the other one is kept constant and derivative of the other one okay like so or the other one is kept constant therefore ara double dot is 1200 theta double dot sine 2 theta plus 2 theta dot squared squared uh, cos 2 theta like so all right then our theta we've been told is equal to at this angle our theta is going to be equal to 90 degrees right and then a theta dot we don't know what it is but we can calculate it we have dp which is uh the resultant velocity at that point and it's just equal to v r squared plus v theta squared therefore our vp squared will just be equal to v r squared plus v theta squared our v r is nothing but equal to r dot okay which is equal to uh, 1000 theta dot sine 2 theta and our v theta and our v theta is equal to theta um is equal to r theta dot and this is equal to uh, 1200 theta dot squared sine sorry ara uh, ara is as minus 600 and theta dot cos 2 theta okay so um So let's work out this. So we'll have VP squared equal to minus, uh, not minus, that's 1200 squared theta dot squared and then sine 2 theta squared plus minus 600 squared theta dot squared and cos 2 theta squared okay before we let's find theta dot uh, we can replace this so we know that our vp is just equal to 80 feet and our theta we said is equal to 90 degrees mm-hmm so this will just become 80 squared will be equal to 1200 squared theta dot squared and sine 90 which becomes 180 squared okay and plus minus 600 squared theta dot squared then cos 180 squared this one is zero sine 180 is zero right is that so mm -hmm. so this whole part just goes to zero okay so therefore our theta dot here can work it out just going to be equal to um 
80 squared divided by 600 squared times cos cos 180 is just one negative one so uh, we can leave it out 600 squared only right mm -hmm. and then square root of that we have a 0 0.1333 so 80 squared divided by 600 squared, then square root of that, 0.1333. So let's again work out this, we find this derivative, I mean, work out this so that uh, we find theta double dot. So this just becomes, are we going to use it? Theta double dot. Are we using it? We have a r equal to r double dot minus r theta dot. A theta is equal to um, r theta double dot plus two r. Okay. And moreover, we don't even have any force there. Well, we can just calculate it for the sake of calculating. Okay. We will not even need it, right? Because we will not need this one. So there is no need of calculating it for now. This is enough. So our a r is just equal to r double dot minus r theta dot squared. And this is equal to, we didn't even calculate what r, r all the values are. Let's calculate them. R at theta equal to 90. Um, at 90, that just becomes 600, right? Because cos 180 is minus. Uh, yeah. Then R dot at theta equal to 90 degrees. What do we have? This one is a zero, right? It was sine 180 is zero. And then R double dot, R double dot, a theta equal to 90. This is just equal to, um, part is zero, so, this one here at 90 is 0. This one is 0, so we only have a 2 by theta dot, which is 0 0.1333 squared, right, by cos 118 times a minus, then times 1200. So this becomes a minus 42.6. Four, five, three. Mm -hmm. So we have a two by point three 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 squared cos one eighty by one thousand two hundred forty two point six four five three. Okay. So let's go ahead. Let's work out this. Let me just create a boundary there like so. Right. And our ARR is just equal to R double dot minus R theta dot squared. R dot is just minus 42.6453 minus R, which is just a 600 by theta dot. 0.1333 squared. Therefore, ARR is just going to be equal to 
let me move them behind like so this is just going to be equal to minus 42.6453 minus 600 9.1333 square so this we get a minus 53.3066 minus 42.6453 minus 605.1333 square 53.3066 then we have a theta equal to r theta double dot plus 2 r dot theta dot this is equal to uh, r is 600 theta double dot well there is no need for this for now we are not going to calculate this uh, but we can leave it like so we didn't calculate this plus 2 r dot which is a 0 uh, theta dot so point one three three three. okay so we have summation of forces in the other direction m a r right and then we have minus no minus w minus n equal to m a r with minus the weight is 130 minus n and 130 divided by 32.2 a R is a minus 53.3066 therefore the value of n is just going to be equal to 130 divided by 32.2 by 53.3066 and then we have a plus 113 okay so minus minus then it cancels so we have 85.21 pounds okay so 130 divided by 32.2 by 53.3066 that's a minus plus 130 okay so this is so this is the vertical reaction the seat of uh, the plane exits on the pilot when the plane is at a so i guess we are done uh, i guess we are done this one is facing downwards like so so i guess we are done and i hope this particular video is helpful and if it was, uh, give me a thumbs up, like my video, continue subscribing and sharing my channel. Bye-bye. And I'll see you in my next uh, screencast.